Hello friends, thank you for joining us to begin secret agent training. We are so excited that you are going to be helping us. As you know, God gave us big missions to complete. We need to make the world a better place, which is not an easy thing to do. But with your help, we can really do it. We will be your teachers for your 11 weeks of training. I'm Agent Emily. We have Agent Kelsey, Agent Glenn, and Agent Tetley. We will give you everything we can to help you become the best secret agent of God that you can possibly be. We're so glad you're here with us. Hello, secret agents in training. I'm so happy to see you again. I hope that everything's going well. I know that it's still not back to normal, but we have to have faith. Things will be back to normal and we will all be together again very, very soon. So I have a good lesson for you today. Today I'm going to read the story that is the parable of the talents. Talent, that's an interesting word. I know that people have told you before that you have a special talent. I know that they have because I know each and every one of you and I know how talented each one of you can be. But let's read the parable and we'll talk about it a little bit more after. Jesus told a story about using the gifts God gives us. A man was going on a trip. I need someone to take care of my money, he thought. He called his servants and handed each of them some talents. Now talents, what he's talking about are little pieces of gold or some sort of precious metal, something like money, okay? Take care of this money while I'm away, he said. Two of the servants went to the market. They traded their talents and made more talents. One servant was afraid. He dug a hole and buried his talents so nobody could find them. The man returned and two servants handed him more talents than they had been given. Good job, the man said. You shall have more. The third servant brushed the dirt from his talents. I was afraid, he said. I, I buried my talent. Give your talents to the others, the man said. You did not use what I gave you. I will not give you any more. So in this parable, they are talking about talents in the sense of money. It meant a lot to the gentleman. He wanted to make sure that they were protected while they were gone. Some of the servants went out, used the talents, and made sure that the talents multiplied. And one buried them. Let's think about that with the talent or gifts that God has given you. Let's say he has given you the gift of kindness, that you are naturally kind and can make people feel better when they feel sad. Wouldn't it be even more sad if you didn't use that talent, that gift, to help make people feel better? Let's say you have the gift of being a good helper. And by being a good helper, you really can make your whole household better. But what if you just chose not to be a good helper? Well, I think that would make you and everybody in your household sad. What about the gift of music? Whether that's song or playing an instrument, when you use that gift, you are sharing your talents with the whole world and making everybody's heart and spirit feel better. And don't we need that right now? So try to remember each day to think about what are the gifts that God has given you? And to make sure that you are using those gifts in a way that will help others and in a way that will make sure that God knows how much you appreciate all of the gifts that he has given you. Remember that you are unique. There is no one in the whole universe like you. And no one that possesses the talents and the gifts that you possess. Never forget that because I know that we certainly Never forget that. So now, let's pull out the special mission and training packet for week 10. Prepare for the mission. Do your best. Good luck.
you guys are good at a lot of stuff. Now don't be shy, of course you are. You have lots of talents. The reason I know that is because God made you and God don't make no junk. He made you good at lots of things. Maybe you have a really nice voice and you can sing really well. Maybe you're very creative and you're good at making up stories and things like that. Maybe you're really good at sports or you're an excellent baker. There's so many things to be good at. God makes us all have special talents so that we have enough for the whole world, right? Not everyone has to be good at everything. For example, I'm not that great with music. I try to learn musical instruments, but I'm not the best at it. We wouldn't have any music if we didn't have someone who was in our secret agent group who could do that music, right? That's why we need Agent Kelsey. I couldn't do that part. That's her talent. My talent is coming up with these messages, right? And delivering them to you in a fun way. So we all have our role. This week, for your mission, I want you to use your talents. So you're first going to have to sit and think about what you're good at. Maybe you know right away, but if you don't, that's okay too. Talk to your grown-ups about it, or your brothers and sisters. See what they think you're really good at. And then I want you to use your talent to help someone outside of your household, okay? So if you're good at singing, maybe your grown-up could film you singing a song, and then you could email that to other friends or family, something that would make them feel good. Maybe if you're good at baking a cake, you could bake a cake and then give it to a neighbor. Whatever it is, whatever you're good at, make sure that you find a way to share that with at least one other person outside your family. That is your secret mission. Are you ready to do it? Excellent. First, let's pray. Put your prayer hands together. Dear God, thank you for all the talents you give us. Thank you for making us good at all sorts of things. But also, thank you for giving us people in our lives that are good at things we aren't good at. That way, there's always someone who can do every job. We are grateful for all of our fellow secret agents helping to make the world a better place. This week, help each one of your agents to know what they are good at. Help them to see the talents you have given them all. And help us to use our talents to make the world a better place. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Have fun with your mission, and next week I will see you for our very last training session. You're this close. See you then. Um.